on streamlabs.com slash gold city fuckwad for 10 says fuck youtube we can take all this shit underground i sell gold city dvds in the streets <laughs> right, power, motherfucker. I mean, me just too. straight stream to dvd man i don't even have a funny. trunk anymore that's the problem that's god the problem damn. god damn i can't Malcolm. even get out in the streets Malcolm. it's just me in a trench coat in the middle of the goddamn summer opening my trench coat at people and what they freak you, out what are you some kind of punker god i hate punkers i know you don't Especially like them. ones with yeah. green heads bald heads it and fits. green makeup yeah. wear yeah. mask yeah, silver it, ugly it faces fits. it fits yeah yep. <laughs> don't fret al huda Azim will guide the faithful to the land of whiskey hookers and blow you guys just keep rocking solutions are needed more than rhetoric and that's a very smart sentence someone buy a lottery ticket so gold city can evolve past youtube and i think that's an important point to remember in all of this shit guys number one Solutions are needed more than rhetoric. We can sit around all day and go, man, fuck YouTube, the blah, 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 but that ain't fixing the fucking problem. We need to find a way to fix the fucking problem because they're not just going to get fucking get rid of me, dude. They're not going to fucking do it. They're not just going to one day rip my fucking income out from under me and act like I'm not going to have anything to fucking say or do about it. No. The answer is fucking no to that. But I'm sorry, to continue on streamlabs.com slash golf city and this is the part where we stop the entire fucking show chap 666 for one thousand dollars american via paypal on streamlabs.com slash golf city says simply fuck youtube and thank you very much chaps for that uh i gotta tell you all of you guys who have come out in support of golf city already today Thank you so much. But if you are in this motherfucking chat right now and you were able to hear the sound of my voice, your ass better say thank you to Chap666 because that thank is fucking you, amazing. For anybody to drop a comma on this project is fucking amazing. That's Krill Show cult shit right there. That's what the fuck that is. Hey, Pete, what's I, I, happening, I, I man? I can't thank Chaps enough for that. No, man, I was, I was, gonna, I, I was not going to do this, but Chaps threw down thousand fucking dollars that is definitely worth me putting the fucking cans on no matter how pissed off i am about the situation uh you know oh i'm God. trying not Thank to just come much. out here and scream you know what i mean i'm trying to you know i want to make sure that people are fucking informed on what happened and and what we're gonna fucking do next and uh you know like ap said i can't say thank you enough to my boy yeah, chap 666 out there I don't, I don't have words for that kind of donation. Thank you. It doesn't seem like it's enough, but I don't have other words for that. But just thank you, man. That's that's solid, dude. That That's helpful because Gulf City Streaming is that, you know, you, you guys go out there and uh, you guys do all the donating. So you know that it is how we survive. So obviously with that being kicked out, of, out from underneath us, that is a tough situation. It is. It definitely is. And just to give you guys kind of the short and short and sweet of what happened there, although maybe sweet isn't the best word for it. Essentially, today when uh, went to make the um, watch page for Fry Power Hour this evening, all of a sudden it says, "Oh, streaming is disabled on this channel." Myself and AP, neither one of us got any kind of email notification. There was no, you know, generally YouTube notifies you about every little fucking thing. They have no problem sending you all those, hey guys, it's National Feminism Day, make sure to blah 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 emails. But they didn't notify us on having our main source of income pulled out from under of us. Now there was no fucking strike. That's the big part of the problem, there's no fucking strike. We didn't get a copyright strike, didn't get a community strike, we didn't violate TOS. We didn't do not none of that shit. No. No, they don't, and, and they don't tell still. you. They say, they give you a list. I, when, when I check on it, it gives me a list and says, mm -hmm. well, you must have done one of these five things. And so I go look at the copyright status because, you know, we have the dump on, on there. So the first thing I do is look at copyright status because, like, I, that is not saying anything about the dump. I love that fucking show, but it's it's the most obvious. It's high like, risk. Yeah, it's it high risk. It is the most obvious fucking culprit, right? I think that's logical. Well, I go there, no problem with copyright. Copyright's on the fucking smiley face, strikes on the smiley face, just streaming disabled because I look at the other four reasons, four of which that could never really apply to us. Yeah. Shit that we were like, nowhere we're not, fucking near. The the movie the movie stream would be one of them that would apply to us if we're just streaming full length content like with that no movie. commentary, so, just new yeah, copyrighted that, shit. Ju and... Just fine. Not a problem at all, man. That that one's on global. That one's not even demonetized. 
It only gets like fucking 600 views. It's really for just. Real it's not big people. views, but, but that, like, yeah. you know, it's that still going. we're not making money off it, but it, we're trying to is, grow something there, you know? That I'm trying to find the logic behind this. And I'm like, okay, so we, we played a whole fucking movie last night and made fun of it. Something that probably wouldn't fly on a network. That's fine. Go to the dump. It's fucking up. People are watching it. I go to copyright. I, just, I, I do not. I do not know. I, I do not know. They don't let you put your finger on the well, fucking problem because then you won't big, do it again. Right. Then you won't do it again. You'll know how to not do it again. And then they don't have a way to just shut you down whenever they feel like they need to. And that's the problem here. Not only, just like you say, Pete, you go to that and it says, well, you must have done one of these things. But there's no recourse if you didn't do any of those things. Like, there's not an additional button to push that goes, this shit doesn't apply to me. Can I talk to somebody? There's nothing like that. Your only real recourse is to try to contact them on Twitter, and you know how well that works. So yeah, yeah. Well, I've had I've had every resource that, uh, to be honest with you, man, I'm not just gonna bitch about the situation, and the problem, because there ain't nothing I can fucking do oh, about it. But frankly, I've heard a lot of the advice being given to us, you know, and I mean it's not bad advice, but I've I've used those resources before, and they do not give a fuck about us because frankly, we can't. If you can't pay somebody who happens to be a lawyer or offer a service or something like that, mm -hmm. what they're gonna want is promotion in exchange for that. For instance, if I was uh, Warski and I had two hundred fifty thousand subscribers, and somebody pulled my fucking ass out of the right. pan i could probably make a couple dollars if, if worski dropped my name well we're not in that position to be doing that for there's people. nothing we so, can do for them if they help us just you to know be honest I mean? and i'm not i'm not shitting on anybody i understand why there are higher priority fucking channels oh, that's capitalism you, you know yeah. shit there's nothing to do but there. that's the situation calling that dude and being like he's not gonna he's not gonna help me. all right we had a situation on the other channel, which is why we're not doing the Fright Power Hour on Gulf City. Yeah, City by the way, Gulf City Streaming 2 never got fixed, so still can't fucking, it's not like we could switch over and do that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and, and to explain that situation, we were doing the theater show, and uh, an hour, but we do the watch page, we set all that up. An hour ahead of time, it says uh, it was um, misleading meta or title. Right. Well, which... the title was the title of the fucking movie with Gulf City Theater strapped to the front of it. And, and the if, meta is the standard meta we use everywhere. And if you guys remember that situation, there's mathematically no way to determine if meta is misleading prior to the content being available to watch. All it was yeah. was a watch page. We got a strike. How long has it been since then? Streaming still isn't available on that particular channel. Now so they've done the same shit to us again. Same shit. No recourse. No way to do anything, man. By the way, PK Truth for 20 says, Damn, chaps! All hail Blue Whale, Whale Gang of Fried Power. Try a website, maybe, Ghastly? Uploaded to YouTube Video and other... Uh, ironic, I'm using Google to tell you this. Dude, I appreciate all of that. I really do. But but you gotta understand that a lot of those kind of plans that people come up with, I, for lack of better terminology, that they just don't understand what that really costs to make it happen. And uh, everybody's like, oh, you uh, a website's not that bad. Yeah, a website's not that bad. We already have a website. But think about how many of you are watching this now. And think about how big file size is. Okay, so yeah. one hour of streaming. Let's just call it a gig. Let's call it a two-hour stream. So there's two gigs per person times 100 people watching. There's 200 gigs times five streams a week. That's a terabyte a week. How much do you think a terabyte a week of bandwidth is going to cost? And that means that if we are able to make the same amount of income from that, how much of that net profit is lost in catching up to that new cost level we have to deal with? Now we're looking at having to put videos behind a paywall to view. It's it's a plan that snowballs very badly. That snowballs yeah, and in, very in, badly in, in at the this marketing size. side of that, man. Like it's it's not a bad plan, but on the marketing side. You got to have numbers to go into that. I mean, if there were go... millions of us, it'd be one thing. You know? Yeah, I mean, if we were if we were fucking Channel Awesome or Murdoch Murdoch or something, we could talk about just being like, "Fuck YouTube," but we don't have those kind of numbers, man. What will train like? How many of you saw this on your subscription feed or your notifications versus how many of you saw it on Twitter? That would be the difference if yep. we had our own website. And not even to say, like, when you go into your own website, then you have fucking platform. Trust me, guys. Before we got into streaming, that's what I did. Yeah, was, we, was we know this to be true, man. Thing for the next year than trying to figure out why on somebody's obscure fucking cell phone they got from Amazon that was made in China and has bootleg software on it or whatever, why they can't watch the fucking video. It opens up. Like, YouTube is the best option for a creator. They that's handle the thing, all man. that shit behind the scenes. And but then the bad part about it for creators is you don't they'll sign you up in a hot second. They'll put you on the payroll in a hot second. But when you fuck up, 
You no or, or even if you didn't fuck up, like they won't even tell you. They're just and like, it's because right, there's thousands of channels for them to choose from. They don't need us. We need when them. YouTube, what Google figured out how to do when when you I'll be honest with you when you stop being profitable for them was found a way to uh, cut a bunch of people off profitable. the payroll. It was really never profitable, yeah. but it's getting a little better. I know what now you mean, that yeah. they've cut they've cut thousands of people off the payroll and blamed them for it. It's because your hate speech is because you did this, you did that, and if you didn't do anything and they just don't want you on the payroll anymore, they'll just take away your fucking streaming and be like, eh, right? Sorry, we don't we don't know why we did it. Right, we'll get and back you to know, you in like rough, roughly about six <laughs> roughly months. six months, we'll talk about it. And you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, there's this platform and this platform and this platform. None of those other platforms have even a tenth of the viewer capacity that YouTube has. A lot of them not yeah, even this more. Isn't power, motherfucker. I like Storm too. I do, man. You know, there. I like wrong. titties. I like titties. Just, man, it. Dude, that's that's a tough. That's a t and and not to mention, man, we've spent a year building up shit on YouTube. I'm not gonna just. This ain't fucking the Road Warrior. You leave your guns, the gas, the whole complex, and walk away, and we'll spare your lives. That is not where I'm fucking at with this. You know what I mean? I, I I'm not planning on walking away, just because of this. We got to find a solve. We got to find a solve, and it's difficult to work within an existing architecture where you don't get to make the rules. But isn't that what fucking everything is anyway? How much can we really complain? YouTube is the snake, guys. And even if you can handle it for years and nothing happens, on the day that it bites you, when it asks you why, it's gonna say, Look, bitch, you knew I was a snake. And it's not gonna give a fuck about your problem. About medical bills, or rent, or driver's licenses, or warrants, or fucking goddamn rental disputes, or lack of a vehicle, or inability to move, or none- It doesn't care about none of those things. It bites you because it's the snake. Insane hippie hippie insane says uh, says could this have something to do with your kumite appearance today? No, no, it wouldn't. I wouldn't that think so. Been... That was so tame. We didn't do in, anything in fact, crazy. The, the irony of that is I can go on a forty-five minute ramp making rape jokes. Fine, it will fly perfectly with YouTube. But by God, don't you don't you fucking try to try to make an income off fucking just talking into a fucking microphone and not. I put all that terrible shit. On the other channels, I'm like, I'm like, come say some terrible shit. They're like, come on, say some terrible shit. I go on there and I do it perfectly fine. I come on our channel and I'm like, mm, I don't want to talk about them or you know, I'm, I'm, I'm editing the fuck out of myself on this right. channel and this is the channel that gets hit. Right. It cannot be content. That it would have been a content strike. They will tell you a viewer like saw that. I've, I've yeah, they will tell strikes. you when that happens. That's true. You can figure you can figure out what the fuck's going on real easy. Except for when it comes to the random streaming ban. That's the X factor on YouTube right now, and we're not the only ones. Cogs had it happen to him. Sinutra had oh, it yeah, happen. It's happened I mean, to a lot of people. We're definitely sure. not the only ones, and it's not a flag attack, anything like that. It's just YouTube's algorithm is fucked, and, and they don't have the manpower to deal with it manually. They just kind of let it fucking slide. Yeah, they don't. They don't have the. Yeah, they don't have the manpower to handle the appeals. They just let it sit and appeal until you contact them for a sixth or seventh time. Yeah, by the way, they're just now getting around to monetizing channels that uh, are on the Gulf City roster that have been sitting waiting approval for six to eight months. They're just now getting around. Yeah, and every month it says uh, by this on, day, On the dialogue, away, on the channel, day. it says in about a week. It's been a seven, yes. eight months. It's a bullshit. It's a bullshit business to try to fucking exist in, uh, and and try to try to pay your rent with, man. It really is because they can pull that. They can pull the rug out from under you, like at any time, <laughs> at literally any time.